Hey, what's up guys with the How You Blast? I'm Serge. And I'm Oscar, and today we are reacting to Anna Flying's new comeback song, Spring Memories. So this is actually an EP they put out, and it has two previous songs that we did react to, Like a Flower and Rooftop. And Rooftop. And it's funny because, I don't know if you know what was happening with Anna Flying, but basically, uh, it's kind of like an exceed situation. Well, song-wise, not the viral fan cam but their song like Dan do so great when it came out right but something happened I'm not too sure what but like rooftop just started like going like crazy and then climbed back all the way up to the up the charts and like mm. that song just blew up for them and I know it did pretty well I don't know exactly how well but I mean that's kind of the story the TLDR read off of reddit but this is spring memories and I say we just get into it mm. Lowish song, I think. I wish I got to see more cherry blossoms when it's a good last song. Yeah. Same way in this than this time. Yeah. Always tea or what? Seems like it would be. Definitely. Like she's going to the airport and he's running after her. Right? Yeah. I could see that. He, I, I knew it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he is an actor. Well, how their names are, I think. Damn it! But what rip was the drama that he was in? I can't remember for the life of me. Don't know. One that I have not watched. Damn I'm it! Pretty sure. Damn but it. that was a really good song. Um, just nice, chill, relaxing spring kind of song. You know, it's like I don't know. Um, I do agree with you. Yeah. I do think it was a very, very nice, honestly. Um, I, I mean, I, you listen to Rooftop a whole lot more. I remember, I actually yes. remember coming uh, to your apartment one day and you'd be like, dude, 
This top's good. Like, <laughs> when we reacted to it, it was good, but, like, it definitely was a grower for me. Like, I did listen to it a couple more times, and it's funny because r literally around the time where the song was really, really growing on me, I just happened to, like, that whole thing started happening with them where the song just got super popular all of a sudden, and then I was reading it on Reddit, and I was like, damn, like, what a coincidence. Like, that, like, literally happened to me, you know? It just, it just took a little while for mm. that song. But this one, I think it might fall under the same path as Very, Very Song. It's a really good song. I just don't know about listening to it. I don't know. Um, I well, I it's, it's no surprise. I'm pretty probably on the more of the ballad side. If yeah. You've been following, I guess I'm the one that likes ballads a little bit more. Um, not really a ballad, but I yeah, but I guess it's, it's our like, category yeah, of a ballad. Our category of a ballad. Yeah. Um, I think I would listen to it. Yeah. Uh, probably a little bit more than I so and I I mean I'm a huge fan of In Flying. Mm -hmm. Um of course I'm a fan of their faster paced music. Yeah, much definitely. Than, I mean other than, you know. There has been I think uh How Are You Today is probably a good mix of of this and their faster paced music. It's a mm -hmm. nice split down the middle. Yeah. Um and I actually think it was one of the first songs that we reacted to from them actually if I recall. The one um, on the bus? Was it a bus? I don't remember. I don't remember the music there's video, a park, but yeah. there's a park and a bus. I um, think. But I'm 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 actually pretty fond of this song. I think. Mm. I mean, did you you, you want to rate it right now? I mean, uh, I can give this one a solid nine. I am right with you on yeah. that. Um, I cannot wait to listen to the song in the car. I'm actually much more so interested in the B sides also because then playing has really good B sides. Oh uh, well, um, I mean, there's probably only two songs we haven't listened to. That's true because I top think there was on here. there was five songs or six songs. Six. There's six songs and rooftop and, and like a flower already songs, there, yeah. so we've listened to those two so and then well, leave now it, it's flower rooms. work and preview. Hmm. Leave it sounds like it would be a fast paced song. <laughs> it does kind of sound like it would be. <laughs> so yeah. I think I might go for that one, but. Um, they lost a member, right? Yes, they did. Their uh, bassist? I think it was a bassist. No, or vocalist. No, it wasn't a vocalist. Are you sure? Was that or was that day six? That might. That might have been, been day six. six. I lost the vocalist, but I I think N Flying did lose their bassist, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, can, I can I can Google search it right now. Um, I I mean I'm I'm not gonna lie. I would prefer a faster paced comeback. Yeah. Of course, because I mean, it's just but it's really just because I'm a huge fan of of uh, mm -hmm. the real and hot potato. I love those two songs. Yeah, especially um, when it comes to like a band group. Mm -hmm. I never know. I never know what to. Ref I mean, they're still a group, but like they're like a band. I don't know. But it's I don't know. I feel like we're in this like in between right now. I feel like this happens all the time, and it's this time. And like going into winter where you start getting these slower, real chill songs. And I think we're actually at that time right now between like uh, mm. leading. Well, no, actually, I feel like that would have happened in March to April. No, kind of. Or maybe it's April. I don't know. I feel like we always get like a chunk of these songs around this time of the year. And I mean, I guess we got one from them flying, but... I don't know. I, I do agree with you. I do kind of wish it was a faster face song. Just because I think I would like to hear your input on those two. Because I don't think you've listened to Hot Potato and The Real yet. Um, I think I have, but I just... just kind of just... I just yeah. kind of don't really remember it, to be honest um, with you. But I mean, I, that was good. I mean, as expected of In Flying, honestly. Mm -hmm. if they're, if they're just... It's amazing. like, I knew the say, song was going to be good, actually. but I just didn't know what song it was going to be like. Um... This guy's voice, Hwesong, Hwesong, yeah, Hwesong, Hwesong, this guy, Hwesong, Hwesong, yeah, Hwesong, his voice is phenomenal, I, and I've seen a couple of, of, of y'all actually telling us to, re, should, like, give us links of, like, of stuff that he sings, like, with other people, yeah. it's, it's just, it's, it's fantastic, it's amazing, mm. um, I, I am such a fan of his voice, because he, it really, it's like, he's like the next, like, I can't remember his name all of a sudden, but the next, uh, oh my god, what is that band's name? Lee Honky? Yes, thank you. He's the next Lee Honky for me, actually. Yeah, so. I think it's the first thing, Lee. I think it's Lee. Honky. Let's just say Honky. Let's just say Honky. <laughs> <laughs> but that was good. That, that was, was really good, yeah, but that is going to be it for this video, guys. Like always, leave some feedback down below, hit that like and sub button, and that's all. 
See you later.